that time span. We stay in the city limits for stop number nine of Sportsline Summer Camp. The Broadmoor Bucks once again trying to shift the culture on Goodwood Boulevard. Second year head coach Yassine Sarah even had to make a shift towards his most important position player. Leads the Bucks offense at quarterback. Hawkins was primarily a wide receiver, but with the departure of Naheem Morehouse, number 13 will use his skill behind center. Sarah was pleased with the way his team got after it in their spring game against Baker, even saying the guys were better than the final score indicated. The Bucks totaled just one win last year that was in week two over Tara, but it was a significant win because it snapped a near 20 game losing streak. This year with a roster of nearly 50 players and some new assistant coaches, Broadmoor is hopeful that they can play football past the first week of November. Last year we, we broke that losing streak, which, which was a big, big thing for us. But this year we have higher goals. We, let, we felt like we left a couple of games out there last year that this year we can take advantage of. Uh, and hopefully where our goal is, um, I mean, I'm saying this right now, but we're trying to make the playoffs and I mean, that, that's, that's our goal. We've been working a lot, so it'll feel great if we, you know, Take a take a step forward, take a couple steps forward actually, because we already took a little step. Now it's time to take that big step. This little group, they've been together, they went through losing seasons, they felt that victory, and now they feel like it's time for them to take that next step and and, and uh, show the city what we can do. More on Broadmoor tonight at 10. Tune in each weekday throughout the summer as we continue to preview teams across our area. It all leads up to the 34th season of Sports Line Friday night in late August. And once again, we will have that post game reaction from the LSU Wake Forest game. Liz. Thank you. A new cancer center is in.